Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video I will be talking about how to read a JSON file in PySpark using Databricks. So before we go to the video, I would like to introduce my channel Geek Coders. Here I upload videos on Azure Databricks, Azure Data Factory, SQL, Python, PySpark and so on. So if you are liking my videos, you can subscribe to my channel and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. So let's go back to the database community edition version. Here you can see I have stored these two files in the location file store tables. And you can see we have the data look like this. So this is a multi JSON file, right? And this is the single JSON file. You can see here we have a data, we have data present in single, single line, right? So if you want to see more, then what I can do, I can, I can load this as a test. So I will write here is df dot df is equal to spark spark dot read dot p ext and then I can pass this JSON. And now if I try to display this, then you will see the output. Okay, this is single, single, separate, separate line. But I do not want output like this. I want my output in a in a tabular format. Okay, you can see here uh, this record number is coming here. As if code is also coming here. I do not want like this. So what will I do to read a JSON file? I write df is equal to spark dot read dot json. And here I pass the path. And here I do display. Now you can see we have city, country, decommission, every column we have it. Now, what if, if you want only city and country column, then what we can do, we can just create one data, new data frame and use select and Choose your, choose your columns which you want. So right now I want only city and country. Here I will write display df1. Now you can see we have the output city and country column only and we have these rows. Okay, so this is the way how can we read a single line JSON using PySpark code. If you want to do the same thing using spark sql then we can also write the code like this so right now i am creating only a view okay create or replace temp view view name is let's say single json and here i will write using what json and then options is path and here i will just pass the file path and let me run this it ran successfully and if i do if i do select star from single json view then it will return the out the same out you can see 21 rows and here also we have 21 rows now if you want to you know if you want to select uh, some certain columns then you can simply write your sql That's it. Now we will see how can we how can we read a multiple line JSON. So this is a multiple line JSON. You can see multiple line JSON. So if I try to try to load this file or read this file using the same method, it will throw an error. See if I write df is equal to spark dot read dot JSON. And if I try to just, if I write here, display df. And you can see it will throw an error saying correct record or something like that. Okay. So if you want to, if you want to read or load the file, which is multiple, multi-line, then I have to use one option here. 
that is multi line and make it true okay and now try to run this now you can see we have city record number state zip order zip code and zip uh, zip code type and zip code now we have only these two rows because we have loaded only two rows and we have this certain columns okay what if if you and now now what if if i write here print schema then you will see we have the uh, we have the schema present over here like city string record number long state string and so on but if you want to change uh, these schemas and all then what you what you can do you can define your own schema and write write down it here the schema is equal to your variable okay that's it make it a schema and then you can pass it over here now same thing we can do via spark sql code spark sql or sql code okay so just change the name change the name multi multi json and change the path and i will change here the name now it is done and if i try to if i try to run this then it will throw an error because we haven't used that multi multi line uh, option enabled or let me we did not enable till now so here what i have to write i have to pass multi multi line okay make it true and give one comma we did and successfully now if i run this then you can see we have data record number all these columns and data and we have only two rows okay and now if you want to you know if you want to save your data frame if you want to save data frame in json format then that is also a very simple thing what you need to do what you need to do you need to write df dot write mode it could be override append or whatever okay and then save give path here if i change the name like multi json sync and if i run this then we'll see what will happen it is taking some time okay it got uh, it got run successfully now if i go back to my data create table dpfs file stores tables now you can see we have this multi json underscore sync dot json folder created and inside this we have this delta log and then we have the file dot snappy dot target okay why why this file is uh, you know why this file is uh, is saved with uh, dot packet format because delta delta is enabled okay so let me go back here and uh, let me let me use here format also format is json and let me run it it will throw another okay that's it so now first i have to disable this it got disabled now just for your sake i will change the folder name because in that folder we have the delta log file i have to delete that folder now it got uh, 
length now if i go back okay create table dbfs file store tables go down go down now you can see we have this folder and here you can see we have the file with dot json extension okay so this is the way how can we read the data using uh, uh, json files and how can we write the data using json files in PySpark using database so i hope you have understood this concept and you have liked the video if you do do subscribe and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited thank you